Hello and welcome to this breaking news edition of AMA Air. Today, the FAA announced their approved test administrators of TRUST, the recreational UAS safety test to include the Academy of Model Aeronautics. We've got a couple of special guests with us with me this afternoon to discuss, so stick around. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this breaking news edition of AMA Air. My name is Matt Ruddick. Uh, as I mentioned at the top, we uh, got the announcement just uh, just a few minutes ago that the FA has uh, released the names of the test administrators for the trust, uh, the Recreational UAS Safety Test. And to uh, help us talk a little bit about it today, I've got a couple of guests with me. Uh, first, Tyler Dobbs. He is the AMA Government Affairs Director and has been uh, a part of this conversation for quite, quite some time at this point, uh, as well as Kyle Jarris, who is our AMA Education Director. Uh, he's going to be talking a little bit about the, uh, the test as well. So, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me today. Well, thanks for having us on, Matt. Appreciate it. So let's start with you, Tyler. Um, I know that, you know, it's been a few years that this the, we've been talking about this uh, potential test that was going to be coming down the pike. Uh, there was all it was it, Congress kind of codified that into law uh, a while back. Tell us a little bit about how we got here and uh, and what this means uh, as of right now. Uh, yeah, you're right, Matt. This is something that we've been expecting for quite some time now. Um, actually, in October of 2018, when Congress reauthorized the FAA, um, one of the new requirements was that recreational users that fall under the exemption um, for recreational use, Section 349, a lot of people call it, or, or U.S. Code 44809, one of those eight statutory requirements was that recreational users now need to take a safety and knowledge test. Uh, AMA has been a part of that since the very beginning. Actually, in April of 2019, we started working with the FAA on this test and we hosted and, and chaired the first roundtable discussion, brought others from the industry in to, to work with the FAA and let them know what the test should look like. Um, you know, this was the first time that really all recreational users, including model aircraft operators, fell under the FAA regulatory uh, portion. And so it was important that the AMA and others, the actual users, let them know, uh, you know, what was really needed and, and what the test should focus on. Um, early discussions with the FAA, from the FAA side anyway, uh, were were a little troubling to hear. Um, they had said, look, we, you know, we're going to draft this after part 107. We're thinking maybe a 60 question test. It'll probably take users three or four hours to complete. Um, they can go to a proctored testing center. Um, some had said, well, if they don't do that, maybe they, they have biometric scanners on their computers so we can verify identities. And we kind of said, hell, hold on, everyone. Um, if you want compliance with this test, then we need to take a different approach. We understand that part 107, um, you have that in place now, and maybe that makes the most sense for your end, but we need to talk about the recreational community and, and what's feasible for users and, and what's gonna get the most compliance rate. Um, so I think it, I'll let Kyle go into this a little later, but I think what users will find is we have a much more scaled back version. Um, still meets the objective of Congress, still gets those newcomers to the hobby and maybe even some that have been operating for some time, um, a chance to to show what they know uh, or else maybe learn a few things along the way. Um, it's going to be a, a much easier process. It's going to be quick, uh, likely take people just a matter of minutes, um, certainly under uh, under an hour. Um, and again, we'll, we'll touch on that a little later. But um, I just want to reiterate, we've been a part of this process since the beginning, working with the FAA to outline what the test should focus on, working with the FAA to develop questions that are going to be on the test. Um, and I think the the outcome, as users will find, is, is going to be something that we can all live with. Um, we can take the test, a one-time test, and we can move on about our day and we can continue flying and having fun, which is the main objective here. 
Yeah, absolutely. And which is the main objective. And as you said, it's, it's a one and done situation. So, it, you know, you're not gonna have to renew this every few years, like some other things that, uh, that have tried to come down. Um, let's uh, switch gears over to Kyle for a second, because Kyle, you and your team has been, you guys have been, uh, uh, tasked with kind of developing kind of what we see when we go to take the test, uh, kind of the front end, some of the information that we're that we present to our members. Um, why don't you tell folks a little bit about what you guys have been working on and uh, how what what they can expect to see and experience when they go uh, to log on to take this exam? Yeah, certainly. Well, and I'll start off by saying, you know, the FAA really does view this and Congress told them like this has got to be a test. But the AMA is looking at this more like a training. Uh, you know, this is an opportunity to potentially learn something, even for those flyers who've been out there for years, and definitely something for newcomers to the hobby uh, to really uh, pick up on some knowledge, to to learn a few things, um, and uh, move forward with a, a more full understanding of the national airspace and how model aviation fits into it. You know, the AMA has always been about safety, and, and that's why we were, you know. Uh, I'll say uh, excited uh, to be a part of the conversation to inform the FAA and others, and uh, also to provide this to all modelers, you know, members and non, you know, that's, that's our, our hobby. And, um, you know, we, we take ownership in, in protecting it. Um, oh, go ahead. Yeah, no. So, so let's kind of take folks through a little bit what they can expect uh, when they when they first log in uh, to the website to uh, to take this exam. Yeah, certainly. Well, first off, is don't stress about it. It's it's a complete pass. You know, if you if you're willing to go through it and learn, um, you'll be guided to the correct answers in, in case you miss one. That's okay. Um, you know, it's all about once again that opportunity to learn. Um, so you'll go through the process. It'll take anywhere from 10 minutes to maybe a half hour, you know, depending on your reading speed. Um, but at the end of the test, you'll be presented with a certificate that's uh, been provided by the FAA. Um, and it's very important that users, as they go through this process, retain that certificate. Um, just so you know, no personally identifiable information is a part of this test. Uh, the only thing that gets uh, submitted to the FAA is a specific token that is generated. Uh, those are cross-referenced, of course, so that there's never going to be two tokens that are similar. Uh, however, that kind of puts the responsibility on the test taker to make sure that, I mean, take a photo with your phone, save the PDF file, print it out. Uh, it'll print out in a um, uh, wallet-sized certificate, and uh, it's it's on that end user to make sure that you save that. So um, you mentioned earlier, one and done, you know, this is gonna suffice forever in perpetuity uh, as we understand it. But if you lose it, you'll have to take the test again. And we also have some some study materials as, and, and whatnot as well on the website for folks to uh, to look through in case they have questions over you know particular questions that they may not necessarily understand. Uh, what can folks expect from that? Well, I mean, really, as people go through and take this, it's going to be, you know, super simple, easy to understand, easy to pass through. Uh, the nice thing, though, is we have provided some quick study guides, as you mentioned. Um, you know, it kind of gives a, a little bit of nuance and perspective to some of these test questions that may throw some of our members, you know, into kind of a question area. Um, you know, we, we provide that insight and in, in kind of our perspective. So uh, definitely worth looking into. I mean, it's like anything government related. There's a lot of acronyms and whatnot, especially if you're new to model aviation, you want to go through that quick study guide so you're fully aware of everything that's happening. I mean, you look at, you know, the recreational UAS test. I mean, there's an acronym in the acronym. So that kind of gives you a little bit of feedback in terms of how this is set up. But I, I will say, you know, as an educator, um, there's a lot of good information here. Um, there really is. I mean, the FAA hats off to them. They did a good job, you know, when it comes down to it of providing some good information. And it's basically set up, you'll get information, you'll learn the lessons, and then have a little batch of test questions. And then you'll get more information and have another batch of test questions. Uh, do that a few times and you'll be done before you know it. And as you mentioned, I think the most important part for everybody to know is to say, you can't fail this test. There's, it is impossible to fail it. You get a question wrong. It actually makes you keep going until you pick the right, the right answer. So That's there's correct. no way I mean, to fail it. There, it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, you might even learn a thing or two, um, which is good for everybody. So I think, I think it's a worthwhile uh, time investment. And as we mentioned, it's, uh, 
I, I, we're, we're talking 10, 15 minutes probably for, for most users to get through this. And um, for so the, the place you guys want to go is to modelaircraft.org slash trust. Uh, that is where our portal for the for the exam is for the for the trust exam. Um, that's where we've got our study guides, our FAQs. We've got all sorts of things there for you to see. Um, is uh, Kyle? Is there anything else that you think is important for folks to know as they uh, as they start making their way there to uh, to check out the trust exam? Sorry, you broke up there a little bit, Matt. Um, what, what was that question? Uh, is there is there anything else that you think uh, our viewers would want to want to know about before they start making their way over to, to check out the trust exam? Don't be scared of it uh, is the first thing. You know, primarily, this is really an opportunity to to show the FAA honestly what you know um, and maybe to learn a few things. It's it's always good to learn a few things. We've provided that quick study guide. You know, check out the welcome video from Chad, um, who you know kind of brings people along and, and tells. Um, all recreational flyers, why we're hosting this test as an, as an administrator. Um, you know, it's, um, it's our responsibility at the end of the day um, as individual flyers to make sure that we know what we're doing and we're doing it safely. And that's kind of been the, the ethos of the AMA since 1936. You know, we've always been about safety. And so this is just another step in that journey to uh, confirm that we are safe, that we do know what we're talking about and what we're doing. And um, it's, uh, it's on us to, to, be safe. And um, this is just one way to prove it. And we encourage everybody to take it. Um, you know, a, a lot of people view this as registration, you know, one more thing we have to do. And we encourage everybody to register, but AMA headquarters doesn't police that. Um, mm -hmm. Your AMA benefits are not contingent upon, you know, proof of passage of this or FA registration. Uh, that is that is what you're required to do to meet your statutory requirements that Congress outlined. Um, but again, AMA member benefits not contingent upon that. It's a good point to, to bring up. and I, We kind of glossed over that earlier, but I think that's a really important point to, to make sure everybody uh, is aware of. Um, gentlemen, thank you so much for taking some time out of your afternoon to come on and talk a little bit about this. I think uh, we're going to get a lot of questions and, uh, and I'm sure you guys are going to have some. Modelaircraft.org slash trust. There is an FAQ there as well. Um, and if you guys have questions that aren't covered there, you are feel, feel free to contact us at AMA headquarters uh, at any time, Monday through Friday. Uh, eight to five is when we're in the office. So don't hesitate to reach out and ask those questions and we'll do our best to uh, help you out with those. Um, gentlemen, again, thank you so much for coming on. And I want to thank all of you guys uh, viewing uh, at home, both live and uh, in recorded format. We appreciate you so much. And uh, until next time, uh, happy flying and we'll see you guys later. Thanks, Matt.